This is a battle between two institutions who have already claimed the national title, so it is a meeting of titans, and we are very proud and pleased to have them. We know it's going to be an excellent round of gameplay. Let's give it up for the Panthers of Prairie View A&M. You, you know? I am Brandon Billings. I am a senior history major, originally from Austin, Texas. Uh, Joseph Dow, senior graduating electrical engineering major from Colleen, Texas. My name is Chase Lavalis. I'm a freshman chemical engineering major, and I'm from Houston, Texas. All right, let's give it up for the SWAC. Now, there's a phrase that every person who goes to Norfolk State knows, so I'm just going to repeat it and give you the props for this. Behold, the, the green, green and gold, gold, the varsity scholars of Norfolk State University. Hi, I'm Diego Fuego, also known as Derek from Western Branch in Chesapeake, Virginia. I'm Maria Maria, also known as Jessica. I'm a freshman biology major. I'm Jesus Jesus, otherwise known as Alvin, and I'm from Brooklyn, New York. Go Brooklyn. <laughs> All right, Brooklyn in the house. <laughs> and for this second round of semifinal play, we have at the podium our ASU <laughs> grad and Hall of Famer, Monita Bell. <laughs> Congratulations to both teams for making it to this point. Um, we've got at the face-off position for Prairie View, Joseph. Yes. And uh, Joseph. Yes. I understand that um, you would pick Bruce Willis to play you in a movie. That's correct. About your life. Indeed. <laughs> um, why don't you tell us a little about that? I mean, you can't go wrong with John McClane. It's like live free or die hard, right? <laughs> tell him. <laughs> got you. Okay. All right. So no attempt to make it look like you but it's, no, <laughs> otherwise great choice um all right great and jessica could you just go ahead and ring in for us and then uh we'll have a little chat okay jessica i understand you love reading books in spanish i do i do but you do not speak spanish i don't speak spanish fluently but i can't understand the language okay excellent I'm what's your favorite it. favorite book in spanish uh currently i'm reading a book called la mujer alta Something about a woman. woman. Tall woman. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was getting there. All right, <laughs> nice to meet you both. All right, so uh, Jessica, your team on the toss, you'll be choosing from these categories. Co-dependent, with the C-O emphasized there, note that. Female power players, life on the Mississippi, and ye old periodic table. Can I have ye old periodic table, please? Yes, you may. Originally known as Niton and abbreviated NT, which radioactive noble gas is now symbolized RN? <laughs> Joseph. Radon. That's correct. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Which noble gas was once symbolized by a single vowel, its first letter? Helium. We're looking for argon there. Argon. Which noble gas was once symbolized by a single letter that proverbially marks the spot? Xenon. That's good for 10 on the bonus. Joseph, your choice. Uh, let's go codependent, please. All right. The spelling of what device that uses a magnetized needle for determining directions is dependent on a CO? Joseph. Compass. Yes, that's right. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. What such CO-dependent word is the clergy member who assists ministers and priests? Deacon. Deacon. Good for 10 on that part. Used in artificial gems, what element spelled with CO ends in IA when it's part of a cubic compound? Zirconium. That's good for another 10. All right, Joseph. <clears throat> Codependent, please. Born Lonnie Lynn, which rapper with a CO dependent stage name shared a 2015 Oscar for the song Glory from Selma? <laughs> Joseph. Common. Yes, and here's your bonus. He appears again for 10 points apiece. On the Hollywood Walk of Fame, which CO artist has a star that includes his stage name? Diddy. Combs. That's right. A good for 10. Which CO actress who helps put the bang in the Big Bang Theory co starred with Kevin Hart in The Wedding Ringer? Kuoko. That's right. Kelly, Kaylee Kuoko Sweeting. Okay, Joseph. Codependent, please. Codependent. 19th century African-American hymns were the source material for what seminal civil rights song, We Shall Blank? Jessica. Overcome. That is correct. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. The artistic technique of painting on a moist plaster surface is what term spelled with C-O? Fresco. Uh, no, it's fresco. Fresco. What type of title animal is pursued by Dr. Neo Cortex in a video game series? Can you Sonic. Hear answer? Sonic. Uh, no, we're looking for Crash Bandicoot's there. Okay. Yield periodic table. 
Some engineers still use the old name columbium for what element now named for the daughter of King Tantalus and symbolized by NB? Joseph. Nubium? No, can you take it, Jessica? Nubidium? So close, both of you. Niobium. All right, your choice again, Jessica. The old periodic table. The old periodic table. <laughs> Berzelius gave it the symbol PA and Mendeleev gave it PL, but what metal is now symbolized PD? Joseph. Plutonium? No, Jessica. Palladium? Yes, very good. Here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Berzelius gave it what alkali metal, gave what alkali metal its former symbol PO? Polonium? No, that's potassium there. What Mendeleev called ecotantalum is now what element whose symbol is PA? Polarium. That's protactinium. All right, your choice again, Jessica. Female power players. What founder of the House of Darion was 2014's number one female musical artist out earning her hubby on their On the Run tour? Oh, there was a race. Jessica. Beyonce. That's right. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. What first woman to become head writer on SNL co-hosted the Golden Globes for the third time with Amy Poehler in 2015? Tina Fey. That's good for 10. Introducing Dorothy Dandridge, Halle Berry's Emmy win was written by which woman who produces ABC's Thursday primetime lineup? Rhymes. All 20 points. Jessica? Female power players. Burns, Pelosi, Yellen, with a PhD in economics, who's in her second year as head of the U.S. Federal Reserve? Joseph. Pelosi? No, can you take it, Jessica? Burns. We're looking for Janet Yellen there. Jessica, your choice again? Female power players. 2015 is the 10th year in office for which woman, Germany's first female chancellor? Joseph. Merkel. Yes, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Bachelet, Gallegos, Kirchner, in two, 2007, succeeding her husband, who became Argentina's first elected female president? Kirchner. That's good for 10. Another first female president in South America is Michelle Bachelet, leading what country where her dad died under the Pinochet regime? Chile? I think it's Chile. Chile? Chile? It is indeed Chile. Well done. And that brings us to the end of round one. All right, so at the end of round one, the score stands Prairie View 110 and Norfolk State 50. Uh, Brennan. Yes. Um, you love Disney animated movies, correct? Yes, I do. I have uh, quite a bit of them on, a, I even still have a few on VHS. Oh, okay. So what is your all-time number one favorite Disney movie? Beauty and the Beast. Oh, why? That's mine, too. <laughs> All right. She's a reader, right? I love that. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, Derek. Hi, Miss Bell. Hi. <laughs> so um, I hear that a concept that we have heard a lot about this weekend is your way of life. And what is that concept? My way of life is funk. So... <laughs> I take it you will be representing Norfolk State tonight during the dance-off? Yes, I will. Okay. We will look forward to seeing that. Everybody keep your eyes peeled for Derek tonight. All right. So, Derek, you will be choosing from these categories. Breaking up is hard to do. In the cabinet, murder, they wrote, and the Amistad. The Amistad. Let's go. The main legal question at the Amistad trials was whether the mutineers were free or the property of what colonial power? Brandon. England. Incorrect. Can you take it, Derek? Spain. Yes. Here's your bonus. For five points of peace and a five-point bonus for all three, the mutineers had been enslaved in violation of Spain's 1817 treaty with what power? England. That's good for five. Which U.S. president sided with Spain during those 1839 to 40 trials? Van Buren. Very good for another five. The next seven presidents tried to reimburse Spain. Which president ended that attempt? Pierce. Uh, that was Lincoln. So you got 10 on the bonus. Okay. The Amistad. The Amistad. In 1842, all African survivors of the Amistad arrived in what then British colony, now an African nation facing an Ebola crisis? Derek. Sierra Leone. That is correct, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. They came ashore in January 1842 at what only major port city in Sierra Leone? Lima. We're looking for Freetown there? Only one of them, Sarah Kenson, came back to America, attending the racially integrated Oberlin College in what state? Pennsylvania. Ohio. All right, Derek, your choice again. The Amistad. A wooden replica of the Amistad is now the official flagship of what New England state where the first Amistad trials took place? Brandon. Virginia. No, can you take it, Derek? Massachusetts. We're looking for Connecticut there. Derek, your choice again. Murder, they wrote. 
play along with Poirot and solve a murder set aboard what luxury long distance passenger train service? Brennan. Orient Express. That is correct. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. In what Dashiell Hammett classic do Sam Spade, Casper Gudman, and Bridget O'Shaughnessy compete for a 16th century avian artifact? The Maltese Falcon. That's good for 10 points there. According to the title of James M. Kane's noir classic, The Postman Always Rings Blank. Twice. Good. All 20. Okay, Brennan. Murder They Wrote. Who added the Women's Murder Club series to his best-selling series set in D.C. that includes Kiss the Girls and Along Came a Spider? Brennan. Patterson. That's right, James Patterson. Here you go for 10 points apiece. What flower completes the title of Umberto Eco's thorny historical murder mystery set in a monastery, the name of the blank? Rose. That's good for 10 points. Follett, Kesey, Poole, Who's the Eye of the Needle was an early bestseller, as was his later The Pillars of the Earth. Pool. Ken Follett. Okay, it's your choice, Branner. Breaking up is hard to do. Co-founded by Alva Roebuck in 1886, what retailer has spun off two of its holdings since 1995, but has also merged with Kmart? Brennan. Sears. That's right. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. Dennis Haysberg pitches the good hands promise of what insurance company Sears spun off in 1995? Allstate. That's good for 10 points. Sears 2014 spinoff was what casual clothing company it had bought for $2 billion in 2002, now trading under the symbol L.E.? Land's End. That's good for all 20 points. Oh. Okay, Brandon? Breaking up is hard to do. What social media company Jack Dorsey co-founded in 2006 forced him out as CEO in 2010, but did so in more than 140 characters? Brandon. Twitter. There you go, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. What dial-up company had 12,000 employees in 2000 when it bought Time Warner, but just 7,000 when, when Time Warner spun it off in 2009? Team, your answer, please. Suddenly. It's AOL. AOL. Let's try the next one. In 2008, what third largest U.S. hamburger chain merged with Arby's and when sales turned frosty, spun it off in 2011? Wendy's. That's good for 10 there. Okay. Uh, breaking up is hard to do. This is our last one. What college loan corporation whose stock symbol is SLN, M, spun off Navient in 2014? Brennan. Sally May. That's right. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. The biggest split in 2014 was when what conglomerate and former owner of NBC spun off its credit card unit, Synchrony Financial? General Electric? That's right, for 10. In 2013, GE sold its share of NBC Universal and the floors NBC uses at what New York address synonymous with the network? Uh, 30 Rock. That's right, oh. another 10. And that brings us to the end of round two. Good job, teams. We got it. So right now the score stands, uh, Prairie View 240 and Norfolk State 80. And um, we've got new players in the center positions here. Um, Chase, um, tell us about your personal theme song and why that theme song <laughs> applies to you. Uh, I would pick The Man by A.L.O. Black because, I mean, I'm the man. There's no, there's no it's self-explanatory. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, right. the, it's the most direct way to put it. And okay. Song that does it better. All right. Well, <laughs> no more questions. You very direct about that. Okay, Alvin. Yes, ma'am. You already told us so much about yourself. Um, you said you're from Brooklyn. Yes, ma'am. And what is the best thing about your hometown? Two of the greatest rappers of all time come from my hometown. And they are Jay Z and Biggie. There wasn't even a question, right? Why did I'm I ask? Just saying. Okay, you're just saying. <laughs> just all right. Nice. Brooklyn, stand up. Okay, so Alvin. Uh, your team is down right now, so you'll be choosing from Dateline, First Century, Nuts, Simple Machines, and Where Am I? Uh, before, may I get a buzzer check, please? Sure. All right, great. Let's try Chase, too. Excellent. Uh, where am I? Where am I? I am standing in front of perhaps the world's most disarming statue, the Venus de Milo. In what museum am I? Alvin. The Louvre. That's right. And here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. The Louvre is on the Reeve Droit on the, or the right bank of what river? The Seine. That's good for 10 points. Across the river from the Louvre, the Musée d'Orsay is a popular destination on Paris's left bank or the Reeve Blank. Light. Gauche is what we were looking for there. All right, Alvin, choose again. Where am I? Where am I? I am standing on Mulberry Street looking at a 60s-era sign that says Lorraine Motel. In what Mississippi River City am I? Chase. Jackson. No, can you take it, Alvin? Tuskegee. Oh, we're looking for Memphis there. 
Very famous. Oh, All sorry. right. Oh, where, uh, am I? Um, <laughs> what was that? where am I? Where am I? I am riding in a Matatu bus passing Uhuru Park on my way to Jomo Kenyatta Airport. In what capital of Kenya am I? Chase. Nairobi. Yes, and let's go. For 10 points apiece, meaning freedom, Uhuru is a word in what language spoken in Kenya? Kiswahili. Okay, 10 points. Mombasa Road leads from Nairobi past the airport and onto the city of Mombasa on what ocean? Indian Ocean. Very good, all 20 points. All right, Chase? Uh, simple machines. A playground seesaw is an example of what simple machine studied in physics class? Alvin. Lever. Yes, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. First, second, third. Which class of lever has the two opposing weights on different sides of the pivot? Second. And no, is first. For a first class lever, a 10 pound weight five feet from the pivot point can balance how much weight two feet from the pivot? Six. It's 25 pounds. All right, Alvin, your choice? Um, simple machines. Force, power, work. A simple machine changes the magnitude or direction of which aspect the others remain constant. Chase? Force. That's right, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. The factor by which a force is magnified using a simple machine is known as mechanical blank. Energy? Advantage is what we're looking for there. Friction reduces the mechanical advantage, resulting in less than 100% mechanical blank. Efficiency. That's good for 10. Chase? Uh, simple machines. A ramp is an example of what simple machine? A kind of plane. Chase? Incline plane. Yes, and here's your bonus for 10 points apiece. 2, 5, 10. A ramp inclined at 30 degrees reduces the force required to lift an object by which factor? 5. 2 is the answer there. The force is reduced by this amount because which trigonometric function of a 30 degree angle is equal to one half? Base, one half. Base, 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 base. Team, your answer? Go. Cosine. Sine. Good try. Okay, Chase? Uh, nuts. What caffeine containing African nut lends its name to a class of soft drinks, including Pepsi? Chase? Coco. I'm sorry? Co cola. No. no. Alvin? Coca. No, it, it is cola, but that's not the first thing you said. All right, let's try again. Chase? Nuts. A popular brownie ingredient, what nuts English variety is native to Persia and black variety is native to North America? Chase? Walnuts. Yes, and here's your bonus. For 10 points apiece, one ounce of walnuts contains 100% of the recommended daily amount of what healthy fats also found in fish like salmon? Team, your answer? Omega-3. That's correct, omega-3. Walnuts are also high in the gamma tocopherol form of what letter vitamin that some people apply directly to the skin? Team, your answer? E. That's right, all 20 points. Chase? Uh, nuts. Bolivia is the largest producer of what large nut named for a neighboring nation? Alvin. Colombia. No, Chase. <laughs> Uh, it was Brazil. That's what we were looking for. And that brings us to oh. the end of round three. Good job, both teams. All right, so at the end of round three, we have the score uh, Prairie View with 330 and Norfolk State with 110. So we're getting ready for the ultimate challenge. And uh, Norfolk State, you'll be choosing first from these categories. See you in church. Two-letter answers, NASCAR racetracks, and world leaders of 2000. Two-letter answers. Two-letter answers. So what word or name spelled with just two letters is? A tool for chopping Axe. wood. Yes. A fourth note of the solfege scale. Ah. Yes. Baseball and Boom. football. Yes. A biblical interjection for look. Pass. No. An Asian board game. Go. Yes. A printer's measure of typeface width. Pass. No. A Hindu mantra and mystical sound. Om. Yes. A manly poem by Rudyard Kipling. Pass. Pass. No. The 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. Moo. No. The first, uh, first person present indicative of... Am. B. Yes. A biblical, Low. Yes. A printer's measure of typeface width. Pass. No. A manly poem by Roger Kipling. Yes. Pass. No. The 16th letter of the Greek alphabet. New. No. A printer's measure of typeface width. Pass. No. A Pass. manly poem... No. Pi. Yes. A printer's measure of typeface width. Pass. No. A manly poem by Roger Kip. No. A print. Oh, great job. 200 points.
Well done. You got eight out of ten. It rings you up to 310. So let's take a look at the, the two you missed. A printer's measure of typeface width. Anyone? Yeah. M or N. A manly poem by Roger Kipling. If. if. All right. Well done. Uh, Prairie View, it's your shot now. What's your choice? Yeah. World Leaders of 2000. Okay, here we go. Name the nations ruled by these kings, presidents, <coughs> etc. in the year 2000. Federal Chancellor Gerard Schroeder. Germany. Yes. Prime Minister John Howard in Canberra. Australia. Yes. Anti-Zionist dictator Hafez al-Assad. Israel. No. His Royal Highness Grand, Grand Duke Henri. Denmark. No. The dear leader Kim Jong-il. North Korea. Korea. Yes. Rene Preval in the Caribbean. Jamaica? No. Then, as today, Ayatollah Khamenei. Iran. Yes. Taliban leader Mohammed Omar. Afghanistan. Yes. Its second female president, Mary McAleese. Canada? No. South American populist Hugo Chavez. Venezuela. Yes. Anti-Zionist dictator Hafez al-Assad. Syria. Yes. His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri. Belgium? No. René Preval in the Caribbean. Pass. No. Its second female president, Pass. Mary. No. His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri. France? No. <laughs> René Preval in the Caribbean. Uh, good try, y'all. You did well. 175 points. Bring you to the win for 505 to 310. Congratulations. Uh, let's take a look at the three you missed. Uh, His Royal Highness Grand Duke Henri, you are in the vicinity, Luxembourg. Oh, yeah. uh, Rene Preval in the Caribbean, Haiti. Haiti. And its second female president, Mary McAleese, Ireland. Wow. Congratulations, good luck in the next round. Yeah.